Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and today we're going to do another Wednesday, and I think last week I said I was going to call it Wednesday Rewind, and that's what Sam from poodles.co.uk does, but I think we will name ours instead of copying her. I don't like to copy people if I can help it, and I know she wouldn't care, but anyway, we're going to call ours Wednesday Remake. I know there was some people that suggested that, so thank you. I think that's a very good idea. So this is our Wednesday remake. This is a Z fold card that I made two, a little over two years ago. So we're going to go back to it. You're going to need a piece of cardstock that is cut at 4 inches by 11 inches. And on the 11 inch side, you're going to score at 2 and 3 quarters and at 5 and a half. So that's your scoring on that. Lay that piece aside for a minute. Then you're going to need a piece that is cut. I think I cut this right. Looking at it, I'm not sure. Yes, I did. That is cut at 1 and 1 8 by 11. And you're going to score it the same exact way. 2 and 3 quarters and 5 and a half. Then you'll lay that piece aside again for a minute. And I think that's all the scoring we're going to do. So we'll lay our scoreboard aside. And we're going to do some stamping. Now, this is going to be one of our centerpieces because this card is going to fold like, fold forward and back like that. I'll go ahead and burnish that. So that's the way the card's going to fold. So this is going to be the piece that goes right here, and that's going to be the piece that I'm going to stamp on, and I'm going to use, I think I will use this. This is the Tim Holtz Mini stamp platform. We're going to put that right there. This is from a Tim Holtz stamp that, let's see, what was the name of it? Perspective is the name of it, and it has a lot of really pretty sayings on there, that huge butterfly that I absolutely love, this background stamp, and then another saying here. So I will put link this below if I can find it. I'm not sure that it's still available out there, but I will try to find it. Now I did change, I flipped my stamp platform over to where it says rubber, because this is a rubber stamp. So we're going to put that on there. And then, <laughs> first off, I'm going to stick my finger in my ink. Don't oh, you look at that. I do that all the time. I am the world's worst at getting ink all over me when I stamp. Okay. We're going to ink this up really well. And put that up there. And then, the reason I'm using the stamp platform is because if I don't get it stamped perfect, I can stamp it again. Oh, but that stamp just right. So, no problems there. So, I'm going to lay that aside and let that dry. And then, I'm going to wash this off a little bit. Because if I don't, I will just end up getting ink everywhere from off of it. So, we'll put that over there. Then we're going to use, where's that little stamp that I just took out? This little stamp, and it's just a little flutter. It says flutter, and it's got the little dots that go behind it. And somehow, in my package, it got bent, as you can see. But I think it's still going to stamp okay anyway. We're going to try it. Okay, we're not going to use the stamp platform. I'm going to use just the stamp block, because I think it's going to stamp a lot easier. Yeah, maybe that will work. I love this little stamp, and I hate that I bent it when I put it, closed it back up. So let's see if we can get it to work. Worst case scenario, it doesn't work right and we'll have to use another piece of paper. So we'll see. Oh, that stamped perfect. No problem. All right, and then we're going to put line this one right up against that one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to try to line these dots up as best we can. And then come off with that just like that. And I think I let that slip just a little. Oh, but it still looks good. All right. So there is our stamped piece. 
Now we'll start assembling our card. This is quick and easy. It looks complicated, but it is not. Believe me, it is not complicated at all. I'm going to use art glitter glue. I'm going to put this down. Okay, this is going to go right in the center between those score lines. Make sure I see that other one so I can kind of even it up. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to put this one down right there, but before we do, we're going to put this on top. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start telling you sizes. That way you can write them down if you want to. I don't know that I'll have time today to do a blog post on this, but if I do, I'll try my best to get it up. If not, I may have to do the blog post tomorrow. This is two and three eighths by three and three quarters. That's the same size as this one is. And then the mat that goes on top of it is two and one fourth by three and three and a half. So two and one fourth by three and a half. And then we're just going to mat this. Okay, and then that piece is going to go right there. Just like that. And this paper that we're using comes from the paper pack Misty Rose. I absolutely love this. We don't have this in stock anymore. It was a last year's collection from Prima. But I think they still sell it. I will try to link that below if I can find it in different areas. Okay, this one is cut at five and one quarter by three and three quarters. And then the mat that goes on top of that is cut at three and a half by five inches. So that's going to go on top just like that. And I hope I put that other one the right way up. I just thought about that. There we go. And I think I did. Okay. Then we're going to glue this one down right there. Okay, now on this piece, we're going to have this will go right there. And I do think on this white piece, I'm going to go ahead and stamp this flutter on there as well. Um, I don't want it to be just plain, so I'm going to try to stamp it too. So let's see what we can do with it. There's that. And let's see which one matches the best. I think it's going to be that one. So let's try to stamp that a little bit further down through here. There we go. Okay, and this piece is cut one inch by five and three eighths. So we'll go ahead and put this one down. Yeah, I think that lines up pretty good. These are cut at, I think I have these over here, let's see, these are cut at one inch by two and five eighths, so both of these are the same size, okay, so there is our little part that goes here, so that's going to go right there, now, okay, now you're going to put the largest area you're going to start it down here and the smallest area down there now i know it looks like it should go different but that's what's going to make it fold like it does and i'm going to use just a little bit of score tape on each end of this that'll make it hold down really well so i'm going to put a little piece on that end and a little piece on this end and remember while i'm doing this and putting this down if you have a suggestion, go back into some of my old videos, way, way back, and if you have a suggestion for a Wednesday remake, then just leave it in the comments below. I will get to them and get them done as fast as I can. 
All right, there we go. Put that down right there. I come up, let's see how far I come up. Come up about three, almost three quarters of an inch from the bottom. And you're going to straighten it all the way out. So make sure that it's all the way to the other end. And then when you fold this card up, you're going to have that right there. Isn't that cute? Lots of possibilities for that little card, isn't it? And then what we're going to do is I've punched out some butterflies. You know me and butterflies. Now, I used an old, old butterfly punch. This is Paper Shapers. Not even sure they're still in business. I've had this one forever. As you can see how discolored it is. But I love it. It punches so good. This is the, the big butterfly that we punched out. And then I used my favorite from Loretta. And it is the three little butterflies. And then I also used another one from Martha Stewart. And it's just the plain little butterfly there. I used all three of those and punched out some cute, cute butterflies with that. And I'm just going to pop their wings up a little bit. And we're going to put some of these butterflies down in some different areas. Now I'm going to try to keep it back far enough away from the score lines that it's not going to mess anything up. And all I'm doing is just kind of tilting the wings up so that he'll have a little bit of dimension. And let's see. We will put this one. I think this one needs to go maybe right here. Looks like he turned around and is coming back. We'll put him right there. Then I have another pretty big one, and I think I'm going to use this side. This is the opposite side of that paper. I think I'm going to use that on the next one. Okay, looks good so far. And then I have some of the Missy Rose bling, and we're going to put a few pieces of this on there. And I think I'm going to use these pink ones. I think these are so cute. I'm going to make it look as if these pieces of bling is what's holding this down. We know it's not, but it'll make the eye think that it is. If I put one up here. Right there, and... One more right there. And I think I'm going to use just some little small flowers, white flowers, to go right there in the corner. Because those butterflies need something to sip on, don't they? So we're going to glue these little white flowers down. And these are just little petaloo flowers that I've had in my stash for a while now. Okay, and then we're going to put a piece of bling in the center of that. So in that one, we're going to use a large one. And I think we'll just use some of these little gold ones in here, in the center of this. Since it has that gold foil in the background, and we'll use that. Then, I'm going to show you one of my stashes. This, I'm ashamed of this stash. No, I'm really not ashamed. This is a pack of just odds and ends pieces of bling and things that I have had forever, and I refuse to throw it away. I love the little pieces that are in here, and I just can't bring myself to throw them away. But it's just little odds and ends. It's not anything that's a whole pack of anything. But I think they're so cute. Like that. Look at that. See the little pieces? They're little white pieces, little colored pieces, little orange pieces, everything. that I. It, like I said, it's just extras that I've had here and there. And I just can't throw them away. I use them when I come up on something like this. So, you know me. I just can't throw bling away no matter what. All right, I'm going to use this little white pieces of bling to put right down the center of my butterfly. So all I'm doing is just cutting bling off in an area that 
where I just have three on there. Now on these itty bitties, I'm just going to put one little piece of bling. Okay, I think, I don't need that piece. I think everything has a little piece of bling on there. So that's good. We'll put all this bling back up. And I have to hide it because my husband says if he sees it, he's going to throw it away. So I keep it hid. Now we're going to use our Wink of Stella. And I'm going to go over the butterflies to give them a little bit of dimension and some shine so that they stand out from the page. The gold foil has them standing out, but this just gives them a little bit more so that they show up really well. This is Wink of Stella in clear. Again, I will try my best to link all of these products below. Um, man, I've used all my, this Wink of Stella too. Let me grab. Okay, I'm just going to grab a Nouveau, and this is in uh, clear. So we'll just do Nouveau. It's the same thing. It's basically just white clear glitter in kind of a glue substance. So it does the same thing. And then we will wet these flowers down. And when they dry, you'll be able to see just the sparkle and not a color other than the white. So we will wet those down. All right, so that is it for our Z Fold card. And it folds up to uh, four inches by five and a half. So it will go in a standard size envelope. And I'll see if I hold it, hold it up and you can see the glitter. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the glitter in that, in those butterflies. But I think it is super cute. And that's it, guys. That is it for this card. It is that simple to make. But it looks like you took all day. And they will set up just like that. So, super simple, super easy. Hope you give it a try. And if you do, please share it on our Facebook page. That link is directly below. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.